Hello there, my fire sign collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, fire signs? You can ring my bell, or ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling, oh, fire signs. What's going on, fire signs? For you guys, I was drawing the light of cigarettes, so I don't know, fire signs. <sighs> Let's do a reading about love. Ooh, God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful fire sign collective. Now, fire signs, we're not taking the extras. You only get one, okay? 22, intentions. Uh, got that little owl on top of that. Looks like an ostrich egg. Number 22, it's a master number. It's usually about mastering your craft. And inside the beak of this uh, owl, we got one of them dandelion things. You see that? So, in love here, what you got going on? And that's in a field of dandelions with them little white seed heads. You see that? Intentions. Intentions. Well, I normally throw a song on this, and you know what? The only song I can think of with intentions is Cruel Intentions. Um, so, Fire Signs, what are you holding off on? What's your hold up in love? Because this is a love reading, but I'm getting Cruel Intentions. What's in that? What, yo, that's the movie. Uh, Bittersweet Symphony was the song, right? Cause it's a bittersweet symphony that's life. Look at that. The King of Cups, the star card. Two opposite directions here. Oh, so it feels like fire signs. You're... Why do I feel like you know? Yeah, yeah, fire signs. There's Leo energy. It's like you know now's not the time. Because look, even with that, I'm getting that sort of imagery of that dandelion seed head, right? Okay, so right now you're just a little protective. These have usually been what's holding you back, so let's just see what's up. Yeah, holding you back and we get to the Four of Swords card. So you're healing right now. That's why you're not really giving in to the whole love thing for a lot of you. Some of you, maybe you need to. What's going on here? Five of Cups. I don't feel that's your energy. Ace of Pentacles. Again, with that sort of uh, dandelion thing. You're waiting before you kind of... Uh, Share yourself, in a sense, right? Before you blow on that dandelion and, and scatter all them seeds. You're just holding off for a minute. Queen of Pentacles. You know what the fuck is up? Again, that Queen of Pentacles, that intention's on that, right? You're nesting, you're creating something. So you're going to know when it is to kind of throw those uh, seeds out there. King of Cups energy. To call in the right person. So it feels like you're a little bit ahead of the game, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you're a little bit ahead of the game. But that's only because with that Cruel Intentions, Bittersweet Symphony, you kind of know what's up. Some of you know you're dealing with a very sort of um, heartbroken energy. Yeah, because look at that. Well, I was drawn to the sun card. But, Leah, look at that. You're going to know exactly when it's time to, to blow that wand on that dandelion head. But this is what it goes to, right? Picture that dandelion head there, right? You blowing it. And there, bringing in the sun. The right time to kind of plant them seeds. You're understanding this. 
So a lot of you, if you're not actively looking for love or worried or concerned about love right now, it's because you kind of know it's not time yet. You're planning it out, so that way when you do, you know it's going to be uh, to your benefit. Ten of Pentacles, then little seeds flying all over the place. I love that. I love that. Damn. Fire signs, you guys are like on it. You guys are on it. That's why you're pulling your emotions back with the King of Swords. Interesting, because I'm getting that, you know... People want to get rid of weeds. People think dandelions is being weeds, right? This is like that sort of weed killer energy. You guys know exactly when the right time is to kind of blow on that. To bring it in. You're creating something, right? You're sitting just like you're nurturing something. You know what the hell's up. But I feel you know what's up because you know the energies around you. I think you know you're dealing with someone who is... is, is you know, they're in a, a not so good place. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You're going to know exactly when to make the move you need to make. Yeah, you just in hiding on this. So a lot of you know now's not the time for partnerships or relationships. You're being very, this feels very strategic. You got to make sure that when you, yeah, you got to make sure that when you kind of blow that Dandelion. I don't know it's got a name, but I can't think of it. You gotta make sure that when you do, it's gonna lead to to positive things. Positive outcomes. Yeah. That's that stick after you blow that sort of puffy uh seed head off of it. Ooh, fire signs. I love this. Uh this could be your energy, this could be someone else's energy. This really feels like what you 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 know exactly what the fuck you're doing. So <laughs> You're not, you're not putting it out there yet because you're just waiting for the right time. It's all about timing. Because the owl is the wisdom, right? There, you know that's that seed head that you can go out and blow that and you could create lots of little dandelions around you, right? But you know it's not the time. Some of you know you got someone, this King of Swords energy, that would just come in and throw weed killer all over it and there you go. It's not going to work. You're going to trust your guidance and intuition because that's some dandelion seeds going to where they need to go. I like this fire signs. This feels like you're, you're definitely, you're not emotive. It's just that you're, you're choosing when you're going to, to show that love. Yeah. It's like experience. You know what? You got your timing down. Losing my timing this late in my career. You're getting your timing just right. You've been planning this out, so you know. <laughs> Fire signs, I love that. You know when it's time. You're just waiting. Waiting for the wind to catch it just right. And send it out there. Pollinate. Send it out there, to you know, so it gets more uh, coverage. More of the chance for it to actually do... Uh, do its thing. Now, fire signs, if this isn't your energy, this could be someone thinking about you. Because we do got that sort of King of Cups energy. I don't think we've had any fire show up. We've got Virgo here. Twenty-two. It's mastering your craft, so it's under. It's all about the timing, getting the timing right, because you know with the seven of swords, you're you you know, this is it's not time yet, right? You know, uh, that eight of wands there. You you're gonna you're gonna wait until it's the right time, so that way when the seeds go out there, they're actually going to uh, be uh, bountiful, plentiful. It's gonna work. And that seeds is just your emotions, right? Because you know who you're dealing with. You've got this sort of negative energy around that would just kind of kill any new starts that you have going on around you. You know that. This is a person that stomped through a flower bed, right? You know, you know who you're dealing with. And you're taking that into account. So that way when you 
decide to blow on that seed head, it's going to actually be to your benefit. It's the right place, the right time, the right environment. It's, it's exactly what it needs to be, when it needs to be. And this isn't just half-assing. You know. You know. This is, it's, it's uh, you know, you've done the work. You're like read the fucking almanac. You know when the season is. You know when the season is. 525,600 minutes, right? You know it, down to the fucking date, time. <laughs> because that's the outcome. You see the pretty flowers there? You're timing it just right. To get that sort of happily, that sort of happily ever after. I'm going to say it, happily ever after energy. Damn, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is fucking beautiful. This is beautiful because it shows that, A, you've done the healing. It isn't that the love isn't there. You're just being very mindful about who gets it. You're waiting until the sun's going to come out in order to nurture it, right? Uh, you're not wasting them seeds. You're not wasting them opportunities just yet. Because a lot of you know you got someone around you with some weed killer that's just going to kill all that shit. They uh, trample through the daisies, right? Uh, so whoever the hell this five of cups energy is, you're taking them into account, which I don't, it, that doesn't seem like a bad thing because you're, you're getting your timing just right. Cause it's all about the right place, the right time, the right environment, the right conditions, and then you can nurture it. The seeds that you plant can grow. Now, if this isn't your energy, Fire signs. This could be someone wanting to come towards you. I'm liking that that dandelion analogy, though. With all them seeds, right? To get carried by the wind. You don't know where they're going to end up. But in the right conditions, you know that each one of them seeds is going to be productive. It's going to be to your benefit. And what are dandelions but little flowery, happy, uh, yellow flower heads, right? Dotting the environment. Bringing beauty. <laughs> Y'all remember picking them as kids, thinking they were flowers? Like your dad was trying to kill them because they were a weed, right? <laughs> You're like, uh-uh, it's a pretty yellow flower, look. <laughs> and they're edible, too. <sighs> Which is interesting. I watched a video where you can actually eat hosta shoots. They show you how to heat, heat, eat hosta shoots. Uh, so it's it's uh, this you could be someone who is very environmentally friendly, right? This you kind of know you know how to plan things. A lot of you this is like almanac energy, right? One man's uh, weed is another man's sustenance, right? Pretty yellow flowers. I love this fire signs. You guys are like uh, <laughs> this is beautiful. So, I know if you're calling in love, you're waiting till the right time. It's like you've already, you know when that wind blows and when you can put them seeds out there. When it's time to do what you need to do. Because a lot of you know you got, you got the exterminator type energy over here that'll just kind of squash any, any new beginnings, any new starts that you have. So, you're just waiting to send them seeds out there. Fire signs, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I hope I didn't lose you with the little seed analogy there, but that is just fucking brilliant. Because it shows growth, and it shows that you're mindful of uh, the energies around you. You're waiting for the right opportunities. So that way, what you do is actually going to be able to, you know, pollinate that field out there. This is decisions that are made in a very meaningful way. That shows education. That shows uh, uh, patience. And that shows the knowledge. Mm, fire signs. That's fucking beautiful. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. And that explains the cruel intentions. The bittersweet symphony right there. You know what your energies you're dealing with. So you're waiting. So that way, when you send them seeds out there, you're going to actually, uh, 
be more productive. 22. That's mastery right there. That's self-mastery. A lot of you, that's mastering your emotions. That's understanding your heart. Mm. You know, timing is everything. Timing is everything. Peace, love, and light, fire signs.